Now, it's emerged this morning that hundreds of American XL bully dogs are bred from pit bulls in the US through a legal loophole, and this is despite pit bulls being banned in the UK since 1991. Yeah, and this comes after the Prime Minister, <clears throat> Rishi Sunak, has vowed to ban American XL bullies after a devastating spate of attacks, calling them a danger to our communities. Well, let's look at that word danger. Just how dangerous is the breed? XL bullies are a cross, as we know, between American pit bull terriers, which have been banned in the UK since the early 90s, and American or English bulldogs. According to campaign group Bully Watch, they account for less than 1% of all dogs across the country, but they were responsible for 70% of fatal dog attacks last year, and at least three out of the seven that have taken place so far this year. Well, look, here to talk about it is XL bully owner Alicia and Nick Elliott. And they've launched a petition against this potential government ban. And also joining us is animal behaviourist Pepper Apps uh, in the studio. But Alicia, let's just start with you. I know that I'm asking this question on behalf of probably the vast majority of people watching this right now. They're saying, what is a family with young children doing with a dog like that? What would you say to somebody who said that to you in the street? If they said to you, what are you doing with a dog that's that potentially dangerous? I would say that he isn't dangerous. He is, he is a loyal, loving dog. Obviously, you know, we like his markings. There's more about him than him just being... I know he's a big dog, but there's other families out there with also big dogs as well, so the same question could be asked to them as well. At the end of the day, he's not just our pet, he is our family. You wouldn't ask everybody with a big dog the same question. I'll take issue with you on that. You'd ask somebody with that breed of dog mm. that question, because, as Susanna just said, 70% of the fatal attacks in this country have been carried out by that breed. There is also other attacks that have been carried out. Obviously, I don't... It's awful what has happened, but they're not just... Be, it's not that breed. It's not just that breed where there's attacks going off. Obviously, what has gone on recently, it is about the XL bully. However, there is also other stories that are out there as well. Obviously, I don't feel it's Thanks. right for all of the XL bully breed to be banned when it isn't just... It, like, my dog has done nothing wrong, so why should he be muzzled? Why should he be banned when he hasn't done anything to anybody? He's done nothing like, wrong. Like, well, always he's done nothing else. wrong. The point is that this is what people are concerned about. Of course, he's done nothing wrong at the moment. We, we take your word for that. Absolutely. He's a, he's a good dog at the moment, but they're like ticking time bombs, aren't they? And if they go, if they blow, watch out. They are so dangerous once they've lost control. I strongly disagree with that. Go on. Go on. I'm sorry, I strongly disagree with that, because that, that's an, any breed. Any breed can that's, switch. That's any breed. Nick, the, why did you decide to get the American XL Bully? What, what was the reason that you chose that breed? Because I... I, I seen him, I liked him. Obviously, he's a great family pet and I wanted to take him home. I took him home and he's made an absolute fantastic member of the family. How much does he weigh? Um, he weighs roughly about 38 kg. And you have... I mean, he looks bigger than that, to be fair, but, I mean, if, if you say it's 38 kilograms... He is due to be at the vets. He is due to go to the vets in, in a couple of weeks. Is he well. fully? Is he fully grown? So we won't, we won't is he fully more. grown? We yeah. He sh I don't think he'll get any bigger than that. He if he does, it'll be only a, literally a little bit. But yeah, he is. He's as big as he'll get. I mean, when we see obviously you've, you can you've, get different you, sizes. Yeah, you've got two children, uh, two boys. I think t uh, ten and six. And we can see yeah. a lovely interaction there between your sons and the dog. I can't deny it makes me nervous to see uh, a dog of that size and strength around children. I had my own interaction with one of these types of dogs and was very concerned about children in the area. It was out of control in a public place. Why are you so confident that um, you can allow the dog to be around your children? 
I, because I also have another dog as well, who is obviously a completely different... She is a mixed breed. Um, she is the complete opposite to Tank. She's very bouncy, full of life. Um, obviously, I know at the moment he is just... Uh, he's a bit nervous and a bit eager as to what's going on in the living room. Mm -hmm. um, but as soon as we got him, he settled instantly. He's never turned on my kids. He's never turned on other people's kids. Um, he's just always, he's been very loyal since we've got him. He's been very loving. Um, we do Elisa, say so, he's so often, like a big teddy bear. But, Elisa, so often, I'm sorry to say this, but so often when you hear these terrible stories of children who've had their faces ripped off by dogs of that particular breed, the owner says it never yeah, happened before. Yeah, but you've had that Let me, let me finish the question, Nick. Well, the owner, the owner, says, the mm. owner says it never happened before. Up until now, the dog was a lovely family dog. We had no concerns. And then the dog turns, and it can turn on a dime. It can turn from the tiniest of reasons. Hand on heart, both of you, hand on heart, are you not at all concerned that this might go badly wrong? No. No. I'm not, cos he would not do that. No, I don't... It, it, it's, it's, not just, it's not just because of the breed. It, you should be looking at the, uh, the, the owner of the breed, how they bring the dog up. And I will strongly say that it's on any breed. It's we... how you bring your dog up. If you bring your dog up in a loving family, the dog's going to be in a loving family. If you bring your dog up to be rough and nasty, then it will be rough and nasty. We've had our dog, like, we've, when we've been away, we've had people come and sit the dog that obviously do not live in our household. And there's never been any issues. In fact, everyone's always saying how, how loving he is. Now, clearly, the government takes a different view. Um, they have uh, effectively demonised your dog. And as a result, uh, new purchases will be banned and you will have to muzzle your dog. And um, are you aware of the other restrictions that are going to be placed on your family member as you... As you um, deal with him? Yes. Yeah. I mean, I don't fully agree with the muzzling side of it. I mean, like I've said, obviously, I've got another dog as well. It just breaks my heart that I'm going to have to take both of my dogs on a walk and one's muzzled and one's not. I mean, obviously, if they're going to bring that into place, then rather than... Personally, obviously, they should bring all big dogs should be muzzled. Yeah. Because it's not just our dog that, you, you know, that has, is in, has been in the news, that has been other dogs that have been in the news as well previous however i think if it is going to be a thing and they are going to say about muzzling then why not bring All right, big well, dogs let's, to let's, be muzzled? Let's, it's not let's, even that let's i mean bring little dogs let's bring our expert in pippa we've we, we've deliberately given them a good run yeah. we didn't want to cut them off we, we didn't want them to feel that they hadn't been able to make their arguments but also we didn't want their children there because we were going to be speaking quite frankly about what yeah. these dogs are capable of now you've heard them mm. you've listened to them what do you think I think, I mean, lots of dogs can be very loving family dogs. Mm. I do totally agree it's the hands that these dogs are in. But equally, these dogs have been bred for their strength, for protection, and they're a super breed. And we actually, they're not even a breed. We don't actually know what they are made up of. Exactly as you said, we've now got pit bull um, semen that's coming over from America and being put into these breeds. Mm. The pit, are they, bulls, are the they pit bulls are banned. But pit bulls the, are banned, but the semen is not. Yeah, exactly. So it can so be used to super sort of... breed, super breed. Mm. And I think ultimately the whole industry needs reform. It's not about their dog, it's not about individual dogs in the in no, the paper. But this is about specifically the ban on, on this those, XL yes. bully dog. Yes. So what will that family have to do with Tank, yep. their dog? as yep. a result of this yep. ban. So you have to be muzzled when out, have to be castrated, mm. and I believe all the dogs have to be um, registered. Because we don't even know how many are in the country. You know, it's, it's been ten decades... Uh, sorry, one, one decade one now decade. of the um, <clears throat> bully Do you in think, the as an expert, that Tank is safe? I wouldn't say that any American you... bully is safe. No. I, I, and I think a muzzle is, is absolutely... When they say that they are, yeah. they are great owners, and I'm sure they are, yeah. they're loving yeah. and gentle and thoughtful owners, and they've had no problems at all with the dog. Yeah. Are you in any way reassured by that? 
I'm not reassured, and I'm not reassured because breeders of this breed are not regulated. There is no definitive training for people to have this breed. All breeds, all this breed should mandatory have training when they have as a puppy, but we just need much more regulation across the whole industry because at the moment they're being bred and we don't know what's out there. We don't even know how many are in the country. Guys, what, what Pippa's basically saying to you as an expert in her field, yeah, and she does know what she's talking about, what she's saying is that what you've got there is an unstable explosive. And at the moment, it's fine. Nothing's happening. No, but, uh, no, but, but, I strongly but, disagree but because with you, you on that. But because you don't know, but because you that. don't know of the specifics that have gone into the breed, you can't, you cannot know, I know that the dog won't dog. blow up one day. Mm. I know my dog. Okay. Mm. But they're bred for protection, and it might well be that the, your dog is absolutely fine with them. But it's the instances of other people coming into the house, instances of things happening outside, a scary incidents. You know, it's not it, these things that we can't. No, he's absolutely it's... friendly with anyone that comes in the house. To be fair, we, we've not. just had a cameraman come into our house and... with, with a sound guy, and he's done absolutely nothing. He's never met any of them before in their life. He's just intrigued he's with just all the. He's interested in what's going on. Yeah, with <laughs> all the be... cameras. Yeah, but he could be um... absolutely fine. But it's the. It's I know all the others that we don't know I mean, what I has know. gone into their breeding. We don't know if the owners had any training. There needs to be responsible dog ownership out there. Yeah. They'll see mandatory training for all these dogs. We need better um, um, punishments under the Section 3 of the Dangerous Dogs Act for people who do have dogs. And we need people to understand about yeah. dog behaviour a lot okay. more. The whole Nick industry. and Alicia, before we let you go, what would you like to see? I know you've launched a petition to overturn the ban. What would you think would be I a think more effective measure? I, I would like him to reconsider, obviously, this ban. I think it needs to be looked into thoroughly. I think it's a bit of a hasty decision to turn around and say, yeah, ban the breed. That isn't going to resolve anything at all. If anything, you know, they are a popular breed. There's a lot of people out there with XL bullies. I mean, a lot of people that are XL bully owners are going to defend this. Obviously, you're going to get the other half that aren't, which I understand. However, I think things do need to be looked at thoroughly because as it stands at the moment, I mean, we can't even get pet insurance out on an XL bully and we've looked here, there and everywhere. So if they want them registered, and then what is, is something okay. going to be in place? Right. Nick, could you also got, with the neutered you, side... Yeah, what would you want? What measure would not, you want? It's, sometimes it's not always... Nick, what legislation Sorry? would you like to see? Well, I think, personally, they shouldn't be banned. No. It should, you should be looking at the owners. But if, if it does go down the line that you end up banning XL bullies, what about all the other dogs in the past that have bigger breeds and mm. attacked and you've, they've never been banned? It needs right. to be looked at further okay. into... It's, right. it's a big like, statement like, like to you're me. saying at the minute, no-one no one is, uh, is determining what breed the, the XL bully actually is. Okay. So, Alicia, and, and also, we have to leave it there. On so, the other dogs yeah. As well, like, okay. Yeah, we know you. Attacks. We I understand think, you know, that. Things need to be properly looked into. Massively we understand that. All right. Thank you both very much. Well, I you just... know, there's a lot of us out there that will, you sure. know, and there is a lot of us out there that will say our dogs aren't like this, and we shouldn't be punished for it. I understand. Well, as far as tanks concerned, all I can say is, I mean, you're a lovely couple. Uh, you're obviously a lovely family. I just pray to God you're right about the dog. I really, I really pray you're right. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming in. Thank you, Pippa. Look, you know, that's a family clearly bringing up their dog... ..in a loving and responsible way. Their yeah. point is, look at the other people who are, you Pippa's know, point not is, doing... we don't know enough about the breed... Yeah. ..to be able to make those predictions. That's the problem. Yeah. yeah. But anyway... Absolutely. Thank you, Absolutely. Pippa. Thank you. Thanks, Pippa.